Surround with is a very similar feature to code snippets, which you learned about in lesson 112. By using surround with, you can quickly insert common code structures, removing the need to type large amounts of code manually. In this lesson, you'll use surround with to add some useful code. To begin, open the Advanced Math project from your Sample Files folder. and open matrix.cs. You're now going to quickly add error handling code using surround with. Click and drag to highlight all of the code within the add to numbers method. Now right click the selected code and click surround with from the shortcut menu. A list appears that is very similar to the list of code snippets you saw in Lesson 112. Every item in this list is also available as a code snippet. Find Try in the list and double-click it. The code you selected is surrounded with a Try statement and a Catch statement is automatically added below it. The Try and Catch statements are covered in Session 7 of the Essential Skills course in this series. Next, you're going to quickly create a for each loop using surround with. Add a new method to the class using the following code. public double get sum double sum equals zero sum plus equals number return sum this code is marked with an error to start with but you'll fix it using surround with click and drag to highlight the code sum plus equals number now right click the highlighted code and click surround with from the shortcut menu Find for each in the list and double click it. The line of code is surrounded with a for each loop. Just like code snippets, the important parts of the loop are automatically highlighted for easy editing. Type double and press the tab key. Double is the data type of the values that are held in the numbers collection. Pressing tab automatically highlights the next element of the code snippet. Now type number and press the tab key. Number being the name of the iteration variable. And type numbers, which is the name of the collection that the for each statement will iterate through. Your for each statement is now complete. For each statements are covered in depth in Session 8 of the Essential Skills course in this series. Close Visual Studio now, saving your changes if prompted. You've now completed Lesson 113, Use Surround With.